Welcome everyone to the second episode of the Cardinals Fantasy Draft using Players from Madden 2005. And not only is today just the, the second episode, but it is the first time we will be playing in the regular season. We're starting the game off against the Card or against the Titans. Demarcus Ware is likely to be an issue. So is Jamal Lewis, but you can see we're six overall better. I think we have a pretty good chance to win this game. Here are the highlights. To get to the perimeter, but that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running. Well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off the body. And they will finally bring this run back to insane they care about him that's the thing they really care and when you care that much you're going to play that much harder for him and oh it'll be intercepted a great read and it's picked one emulated turnover try to shake off the interception from the last drive he'll look to throw looking for johnson and it's hitter play fake. Here's Palmer. Throwing left side. It's complete. And he will score. Touchdown. And grab the completion for a really good pickup. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off here the 32. 20. Making it happen. And they Make will it score. Happen. It's a They'll drop to throw. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. He'll buy some time right. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Full display there as he gets his first NFL sack. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. Going for the deep ball. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown. From the shotgun, it's Palmer. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is recovered by the car. A few quarters. Oh, you're eager. You come running up there. And he will get into the end zone. Because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 38. You thought you and they it. will you score. It. It's a... Tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them. Ball. And the Cardinals have got it. Go the other way. And they will set up. So a 42-7 to victory was obviously... Exactly what we wanted to happen in that first game, and honestly, pretty realistic. You guys, remember, Titans got absolutely killed that first game. Everyone thought they were going to be horrible, you know, and then they ended up being the one seed. But good win for us. Plummer was very good on the day. Nine for 16, 170, 177 yards, three touchdowns, and a pick. Rushing attack. Fred Taylor was pretty much the only thing we had. Ten yards for 60, ten rushes for 65 yards. To Popped off today with really just two big splash play catches, which is pretty much the only thing he's doing in this offense. Two for 94 and a touchdown. Randy Moss had two for 19 and two touchdowns. So, I mean, also just really spreading the ball around for the entire team. Charles Woodson had two interceptions. Obviously quite good. McKenzie had one and Champ Bailey had one. So pretty much exactly what we wanted from that defense. Good pass defense. We got it. And that would end up giving Charles Woodson the... Defensive player of the week, thanks to those two pick sixes. And now we are traveling to face off against the Minnesota Vikings. They got Edron James, which could be a huge issue. Leonard Little, depending on where they end up using him, could be potentially an issue. But I'm not worried at all about Javon Walker. Here are the highlights. To be unlucky. Now a third and goal situation as this Arizona defense tries to stand tall once more. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown. Able to 
they'll look to throw here. Touchdown! Following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. Oh, that's into double coverage here. Number two, here's second and eight. Looking to throw. Wallace into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 12. And the... Having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. And in his 15th season, he's able to get this one to go. He needed, that's the spark they were looking for. Good starting field position for the Vikings as they have it first and 10 at the 40. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off near the 42. They'll try and pound it in with Dillon. And he... Knock it away. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's going to let it fly. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 48. The quarterback, as you know, is usually the leader of the squad. Now there's probably a, a silent camaraderie that comes about. Him. And he'll take this one in for the end. So 31 to 7 victories, a little bit of exactly what we wanted to see. Plummer, I mean, again, not not a great day, but a very, very good one. 13 for 16 and 211 yards, touchdown and a pick. Fred Taylor, again, just really struggling to get the running game going. Randy Moss just reminded us why, you know, he is Randy Moss. And defensively, just very good all-around. I mean, three corners and a safety got an interception. We're playing pretty good. And we are also top of the division, 2-0 ahead of the Seahawks, but we're only two games in, a lot can happen. And we'll, we'll have to see how much else happens in the next episode, which I don't know when it will be coming out, but it will be coming out eventually. Hopefully, you, if you guys enjoyed this one, you'll like that one. Subscribe if you're new. It is Sir JTB signing off.